Hello and welcome to this presentation of Aqueducts. I am your host, Philes. Let's start with how the Romans constructed these buildings. It all starts with finding a place with water, most likely a lake. Then they would start with the main foundation of the aqueduct, called the pier. Then, in order to give the aqueduct strength, they used arches. The first thing they did was create a wooden support in the shape of the arch. Then they took concrete stones and placed them around that wooden support. Now the last stone was put on the top of the arch, and was the most important. It was called the keystone. The keystone was important because it locked the arch in place, creating a very strong base. This system allowed aqueducts to become taller and stronger than ever before. Now that wasn't the only method that Romans used. An aqueduct was also built at a slight angle so that water would flow down into the city for their use. Speaking of cities, the main point of the aqueduct was to transport water to those cities. For things such as the city fountain, for drinking, as well as the Roman baths. Basically, if it needed water, it usually came from aqueducts. So there you have it, the aqueduct, one of the Roman Empire's most impressive constructions. So impressive, they are still here today.